<laughs> well, all right, we'll get started this morning. Maybe you'll wear something that reminds you of the 80s. Yeah. All right. Uh, put on a big lapel or something. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting started with some clouds this morning. And this will be a couple of our warmest days that we'll see today and tomorrow. We're still cool along the coastline as we get our typical May gray, that fog that lingers throughout the morning and sometimes into the afternoon. That's going to keep it cloudy and drizzly there. And for the weekend, we're all going to cool down a few degrees with a little bit more wind kicking up. Let's get the kids ready for school in Hayward. We're starting out with mid 50s and it will be a cloudy morning. But by the time you pick them up at school, it's going to be windows down, sunglasses on a really nice um, wait in the pickup line there at the school. We're going to see temperatures starting out in the mid 50s this morning. And then as we go into the noon hour heading out for lunch in Dublin, it'll be 72 degrees. We'll be at 75 in Napa while San Francisco still jacket weather with some low 60s going into the afternoon to the evening. It turns breezy and we'll see some spots in the 70s and 80s. But then check out Ukiah and Clear Lake there. We're hitting the low 90s, so there will be a couple of spots farther to the north and farther they're inland uh, where you'll feel the difference in the temperatures for today. High pressure still in control, but we're going to see some changes into the weekend. That's going to change with an area of low pressure dipping down into the Pacific Northwest, and that could possibly bring down enough moisture to cause some showers and thunderstorms in the Sierra for the end of the weekend into early next week. The Bay Area stays dry, but we will see a drop in temperatures with a little bit more wind being picked up and much more of an ocean breeze. So spots like San Jose is going from upper seven to low to mid 70s for next week. So it's not a huge change here. We still don't have any chances of rain in the forecast, but we'll bring it back to some more seasonable temperatures because it has been a little bit warmer than we typically see. We'll ha have some highs in the low to mid 70s into next week, while San Francisco's keeping it steady with some 60s throughout the forecast.